Hi, um, so here's the Chirpa app. If I can type projects, uh, you can see that it's the Chirpa uh, project, I should say, system. Um, systems are more than one service, of course. So what I wanted to show today were a couple of features that we've recently added to Conductor and to its plugins. So first of all, um, the feature I wanna show you here is if we look in the uh, plugins what we do is add SPT conductor and that is all that you now need to do with a play or a Legam project and it will actually introspect your project and all of its sub projects um, and configure it um, so you only then define settings for things that you know where you don't uh, want the defaults so the build SBT here therefore has absolutely no change from the, the regular Chirpa SBT file. So that's one thing that we've done because before um, you did actually have to do a couple of things. So now we introspect everything and you do nothing other than add that plugin and it's automatically enabled. So if we go down here, another thing that we've done is um, introduce the new install command but before I talk about that what you used to have to do is go to the import projects here generate a bundle and then load it so let's just go and do one of those we'll go to friend import and what we'll do first of all of course is run the sandbox I'm just going to run a development version that I've got going in in the background here and uh, you know so as I say what you used to have to do is to uh, generate the bundle and then go and load it so what we can now do it then is generate it use a bundle cut on dist and let it let it do its thing now I'm not going to edit this video so you're going to be subject to the time that it takes for my little machine to do this you can see here that it's now created a bundle for us and then we can do conduct load and I can press the tab key and it will actually pick up that last bundle generated so I can go ahead and do that and then this will actually load it into conductor and it returns to us once it's actually installed. And in fact, I can do conduct info from here. Now, that that approach is fine if um, you you are dealing with a single service in Legam um, or a single web app in Play, whatever. Um, you know that works just fine. And and, and indeed, you know when we type. Uh, projects here you can see that we've got several services so it, it's it's quite plausible that you have just one service that you're working on at a time and therefore you might want to do the conduct load and then the conduct run you know to test your your uh, verification I should just point out as well that this is not the same as the run all command so of course when developing a Legon project in and you're in development mode you're using the run all command you're editing and updates are automatically picked up etc you you tend to use the sandbox when you you're at the latter part of your project and you're you're thinking now about deploying that project to a real system and that's when you do the conduct loads and conduct runs etc but instead of doing all of this now I can actually be in any project and just type the install command and when I do that, what's going to happen is that it will introspect every single sub-project of, of the project and uh, look at all of the available configurations as well. So normally when we deploy a play application, we also deploy it along with a configuration. And given that it's a Legom project, it will also generate a Cassandra configuration for us. Now what's happening here is that it's restarting Conductor to ensure that it's in a clean state. And now we're actually waiting for Conductor to restart. And then once it's restarted, it's gonna deploy 
each one of our services it's going to detect which sub projects are actually related to the services themselves because as, as you may um, have noticed you know you have the API projects and the import projects so it's just going to look at the import projects look for any configuration any custom configuration that's provided and you know um, create the configuration as well and load it and then finally once it's loaded all of your services it's going to load Cassandra as well and that's what it's doing right now so so far we've loaded four services it's deploying the fifth one which is the front end the front end is a play application and the play application has a configuration as well so it will automatically deploy that as well and now you can see that it's actually deploying Cassandra as well now bear in mind we've just typed one command install and the only prerequisite to install is that the that conductor is running in the sandbox already so we do our sandbox run that's that's all it needs and again it introspects everything so it's it's similar to the run all command where it does everything for you um, but it's different you know it's semantically different which is why we call it an install command because it really does install your system on conductor you can see that it's been installed now in a certain state we have a couple of services running already a couple well three or four starting up already one hasn't started yet so if we have a look again then you can see now that they're all started and we can go and do things like conduct logs chirp oops chirp for example actually i don't think uh, logon outputs any logs for stuff that uh, oh there you go it actually has started and you can see in fact actually there there was some uh, issues with chirper when it was starting up in that it couldn't find cassandra initially and then ultimately it'll find it and that's because cassandra you know wasn't there initially but then it becomes available and then chirper connects to it so that's all i got for you today i just wanted to show those two new features so in summary one is all you have to do is add the sbt conductor plugin and that's it you don't have to provide any additional configuration to your project ordinarily and then the second thing is if you don't want to do your bundle cut on disk for every single project and you conduct load and then you bundle and you can just type install and it will install your entire, entire system in one go enjoy